Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. In uh, today's video, I wanted to go ahead and kind of answer a lot of the things that I get in my uh, comments on the YouTube channel, some uh, questions I have and things that might be maybe, if not deal breakers, things that people should maybe consider before uh, installing Chrome OS Flex on their computer or things they should know first. Um, Chrome OS Flex is great. It's uh, for especially the older, lower power devices, things where you're not going to do that much on besides, you know, email, web browsing, stuff like that. Uh, like if you have an old computer where Windows barely runs out in anymore, or you're not getting Mac updates anymore, Chrome OS Flex is a good free option. But it's not totally the same as regular Chrome OS, and there are some things you should know. And so that's what we're going to go over here today. <clears throat> first of all, very first thing, it, this is particularly for Windows users. If you have Windows and you're thinking about trying Chrome OS Flex and you think there's a chance you might ever want to go back to Windows at some point, make a Windows recovery media first before you install Chrome OS Flex. The reason is there's no good easy way to create a Windows installation media from Chrome OS. Once you wipe Windows off, it's kind of too late without going through a bunch of runarounds, which we've kind of talked about in the past on the channel. So, uh, you know, if you go to your Google or your Bing and you search for, I think it's the Windows Media Creation Tool, Microsoft has something really easy to where you can create a Windows Recovery USB stick. I'd highly suggest doing that first if you think you're ever going to go back to Windows. All right, moving on. Chrome OS Flex at this point has pretty good hardware support, but it's not perfect. If you if you put Chrome OS Flex on your device and something doesn't work, be it a card reader or a camera or a trackpad or anything else, there's really nothing you're going to be able to do about it. There's no way really to install a driver to fix it. There's no terminal commands you can do to fix it. It's basically it either works or it doesn't. So before you install it, you know, try it from the live USB and uh, make sure all your hardware works because that, it's not the top thing I get asked on the channel, but it's one of the top things I get asked is like, how do I fix my trackpad? How do I fix my card reader? And the answer is you can't fix it. It's either gonna work or it doesn't. That's a limitation of Chrome OS Flex. What you have is what Google has included in it. So keep that in mind, test it first. Moving on, when you install, I'm not talking about running it off the USB, but when you actually install Chrome OS Flex onto your computer, it is going to delete everything off your hard drive. And it also does not let you pick which hard drive you want to install it to if you have multiple. So you are at the mercy of the installer. If there's anything you want on your computer, you better back it up first because you're not going to be able to get it back. And there's really no recovery. I mean, there probably is some recovery where you have to go through a whole bunch, but just for the normal guy who doesn't want to spend all day messing with it, uh, once you install Chrome OS Flex, everything on that hard drive is gone. So keep that in mind. Now, <clears throat> if your computer is not old and slow and you're just trying to get rid of Windows or Mac, uh, Chrome OS Flex might seem like a great choice, but I would suggest looking into Linux first. And here's the reason why. There is nothing that Chrome OS Flex can do that Linux can't. But there's like a million things that you can do on Linux that you can't on Chrome OS. Yes, there is the ability to run a lot of Linux apps on Chrome OS Flex. It's not as good as real Linux. It's slower. It's a hassle. A lot of stuff doesn't work or you have to go through a whole bunch to just to get it to work. And there's so many Linux distributions out there that you can definitely find one where you like what it looks like. So unless your computer is pretty old or slow or just low powered, I would really suggest looking into Linux first. And I'm saying this as someone who likes Chrome OS Flex, but uh, you will find pretty, pretty early on that it's pretty limited in what it can do. And along those lines, um, this is the biggest question I get about Flex. No, there's no Google Play Store. That's the big difference between it and regular Chrome OS. There's no Google Play. I don't think there's ever going to be Google Play on it. There's no easy way to run Android apps. If Android's a big deal to you, it's not going to happen on Chrome OS Flex. No matter how bad you want it to happen, it's not going to happen. 
So keep that in mind. And um, the other thing, Linux support. If you have an older CPU that is uh, susceptible to the, what are they, the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities, you're probably not going to be able to use Linux on Chrome OS Flex. And you also need to be able to have CPU virtualization enabled in your computer's BIOS. If you can't do that, you're also not going to be able to use Chrome OS, Linux on Chrome OS Flex. Okay, so I think I covered most of the important things you should need to know. Now, I'm not saying all this to discourage you from using Chrome OS Flex. If you uh, look through my channel, we have discovered there's a lot of things you can do on it. It is a nice looking system. It runs pretty quick and smooth, but it's like it's not good for your only system unless that's all your computer can handle in my opinion for a secondary device where you're just going to be using it on the couch or traveling and you just want to do basic web stuff it's great beyond that if your computer can run linux i highly recommend it and uh yeah so that's what I think. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you think about this. But uh, these are just some of the biggest questions I get. Hopefully it answers it for people. Hopefully people find this video and can watch it before they try installing Chrome OS Flex. And so that's it for today. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you like Chrome OS Flex and Linux because we talk about both. And until next time, have a good day. Bye now.